cheating or nah? Let's go. Crab Tendo. What's going on guys, DJ App here, and what we have today is another artificial intelligence plugin by the name of Regroover made by Acusonic. So I want to see how good this is because it extracts stems from loops. So you can have samples, drum loops, whatever your nasty little fingers <laughs> Hear what I'm saying. It's artificial intelligence to extract stems. So you can make your own audio clips out of existing loops. So this is really strong. We're gonna see how well it works. The link will be in the description box and let's check it out right now. So I have both versions in front of me. There is an essential version which costs like $99 and then there is a pro version that costs $215, I believe. And the link again will be in the description box and we're gonna go down here and see. So we're looking at the different features to see where it stops at. So you do get to split the audio loops into distinctive layers, no matter if you get the essential version or the pro version. So if you just really wanna pay $99 for it or if you wanna test out the free download or whatever, check it out and see for yourself and see what you could do. And then we'll talk more about it, of course right now. So I'm gonna start with the essential version. I have loops and stuff from my boys at MXX Audio, my brothers. I'm gonna start with something simple here. We're gonna drop it in here. This is the essential version, guys, so you'll see how well it works off top. So this is the first one. It's mapped to C3. Okay. Well, it did a pretty decent job. Nothing really insane, but it did a real good job nonetheless. So each layer, of course, you have control over different aspects. So I'm gonna go over here. You can mess with the gate. And uh, if you flip it, of course, you're not gonna hear anything. But you get to set the attack, hold, and the release time. Uh, you also can do this right here. You can adjust actual so you can adjust the kick with this right here and that's pretty cool nice you can adjust stuff here again this is the essential version i'm messing with first and then you could eq so this is the high pass filter you want to put highs in there this is the kick so it's not really going to do anything but if I mess with the the lower the low pass filter right here, got some gain. It got some girth. <laughs> Sweeping the frequency there. And you can add some mids. And add more body to that uh, kick that I'm doing right here, which is on C3. And you can add some compression if you want to. You can have it on auto, or you can set it manually. Whatever you want. I want fast attack, put some makeup gain in there. And then weirdly enough, you don't have saturation that you can mess with. So that is a pro version of that. So messing with that, you see, we're gonna test out that same loop in the pro version now. And we're gonna hear how the saturation works or if, see if this actually splits any different than the central version. So the algorithm is the same here. Let's see, it's a little, yeah. You can see that they're both pretty much, they're both pretty much the same as far as the extraction of the loop. Of course, in this version, you get to mess with uh, saturation here. So I'm gonna mess with the transient. They can suck stuff out of that transient. Started parallel signal. filter that's cool and yeah so let's try something else I'm gonna go ahead and go to the project here and we're gonna stuff 
boom. We're going to slide that over here. We're in the pro version now, so all the essential guys, you don't, you get a lot, but you don't get as much as if, if you wanted to make like a expansion kits and stuff like that. So let's hear this. I'll make a make a little adjustment here. Kick right here. Ooh, you can change the amount of layers too. You can split. I'm letting it analyze the audio again. We're gonna see how much. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So again, you can also make uh, drum uh, drum moves in here. And this version right here, you can actually drag and drop stuff uh, into like playlists and stuff like that. So you can actually uh, uh, see what you want to export. Like if you want to export the layers, export mix down, pattern mix down, uh, you can do that in the that version, and then you would put it in your folder. Uh, I have no need for that right now, but I just wanted to see you know if it was really good. Uh, but we're going to do some more testing here. I want to see it, how it works on, like, here, how great it works on something like a melody. So I'm going to go and grab a melody. Let's see about that. Boom. So we have low five melodics here. We just pulled up a melody here and I'm gonna let's play the full version. Damn, why have I not sampled that? All right, so with that. Wow, so SC3, SC3, this is sharp. That's the base. So let's go ahead and bump up the layers a little bit. And then we're going to try to bump up the activity of it. We're going to bump up the activity. And now we're going to choose to split. <clears throat> Damn. So I want to know if you guys think this is cheating or not. I have to ask you that. Leave a comment below. And is it worth it for you? My personal opinion about this, yes, it is cheating. And I don't give a damn. I am guilt free here. And I will be using this in the most damnedest of ways. This definitely gets the stamp of approval.